to talk to every one of them. But first, let me read the description here. So, last generation, the crew safely arrives at the golden hour and exchanges info with you. After an intense discussion, you decide to work with Venturing. Before planning the next step, take some time to discuss with everyone what everyone is concerned about. Yeah, what everyone is concerned about. Yeah, March is not very thrilled about that idea. We have to find a way to stop death for Firefly's sake. Alright, uh, let's start with Mitro. Let's go. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. Yeah, that's true. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Yeah. It's not be in the face, trying to. Perhaps he's going for the hotel? An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Hmm. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Okay. Uh, perhaps he's going for the family, then. He's definitely going for the family. And it's yeah. just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head-to-head. -head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Yeah. Perhaps he's going for Akira? Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. I can't rush to any conclusions. Yeah. Perhaps he's going for the Astro Express. Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially... Because he respects you so much. And has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Maybe. No conclusions can be drawn just yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also... Also what? He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. I mean, yeah. He's going all he's going all in. That's uh, Ventrin's way. Alright, well, what do you have to say? Aventurine said something that concerns me. Well, what did he say that concerns you? He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, hmm. but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. Yeah, he's keeping his cards close to his heart, I suppose. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. But, wait, but why though? Does Ventrin have other plans? It's bluffing. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. Sure. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Hmm. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Well, let me tell you. Uh, she's, uh, yeah. Uh, she's mysterious. She can be gentle. And she's very, 
very powerful. Weird. I can't seem to remember. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now the text is in red. So it seems I s I'm not supposed to say anything other than that weird I can't remember. Huh. Interesting. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Yeah. Alright. Wait, do they say anything else except for what they are supposed to talk about? If a Benjamin wants to bring down the family, he'll have to create a big enough chance. After everything he's done so far, what is his goal? Hmm, who knows? What about you, Wilt? Do you have anything else to say? Whatever happens, please don't place all your trust in Aventurine. We cannot afford to be manipulated by him. Sure, I'll try my best. Call our seats. Alright, March. March, you're the last one. So, yeah, cut that, that shot here. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well somewhere. That everything's just some horrible prank. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? I know, right? Shouldn't only good things happen here? It should. Normally. Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. We'll, we'll restore all the dreams back to normal. And I can't, we can't make any promises like that. I don't even know what's going to happen after that, so how am I supposed to know? I, what I should say is, do you think family's behind all this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Yeah. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Yeah, it seems like Aww, it, right? What a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Yeah, so glad. Yeah, uh, you could have that. But then I'd be just like everyone else out on the street. And that's also true. Uh. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about Miss Robin while we're out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Huh. Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh -huh. Wait, what are you talking about? Aww, I thought I'd finally 
get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. So what are we supposed to do now? Well, hmm. What is it? Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Honored guest? Natural on? I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. <laughs> Just that. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. That's right, so that was it. Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. <laughs> Not even us, right? So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. <laughs> That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron, those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. Hmm. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellar on them. <laughs> Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize... The secret of Panacone... ...may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Oh, really? You think? That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. <laughs> Share your findings with me 
and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. <laughs> Wait the heck up? Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Wow. The conversation coming up will last forever? At the same time, hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel? She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. <laughs> the guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Yeah, you'd say that. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. Hmm. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Interesting. So now she's seeking answers from the annihilation gang that uh, I mean was supposedly I mean not supposedly but yeah they went their separate ways but Jinfoa was supposedly slain by Avi Akron's blade which is I don't know if that's true let's just say that um, so now uh, Black Swan is actually trying to get some more intel with uh, the memories that lie within the cinch of the Annihilation Gang, uh, well, invite. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by Annihilation. Hmm. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. Yep. Oh, so it's probably the child, the children of, well, Ifrit, or Judge Inferno. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in a land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Hmm. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When have those on the path of destruction fear? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. No, they don't. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out.
but what happened? What do you mean what's happened? Okay. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way. Hmm. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? The Garden of Recollection or the Cremators? Another group? The Cremators? Okay. So is who who is starting right now? My name is Constance. Oh, okay. A pleasure Constance. to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it <laughs> unforgettable time together. Constance, is one, isn't that one of the uh, children of Ifrit, Duke Inferno? I don't know, maybe. But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then. You can enjoy the banquet for me. Hmm. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh. Hmm. 